Since my great-grandfather attended the school in 1924, there have been 22 of us in our family to attend the university, and three of us here right now, um, one being me, uh, another one, Emmy Stutz, my cousin, and Wilson Faulkner. Hi, my dad, Emmy Addison Camp, Jr., came here and, and graduated in 1928, so I guess he came in 1924. He was a very outstanding student. He ended up making all A's all four years at Alabama. And I think that was the first person ever to do that. When I got ready to go to college, I knew I wanted to come to Alabama. My first pledge swap, I met my husband, had a date with my husband, Larry Faulkner, and we started dating then and we kind of had a few spats every now and then. <laughs> Broke up, but we did get back together. And, but we both loved Alabama. It was fun for, for us to be here together and share those times. My parents both came here, Patty Camp Faulkner and Larry Faulkner, um, and they met here in the 50s and have been married 60 years now. And um, the third generation, um, my two older sisters and younger brother also attended Alabama. Really remember coming here for homecoming parades and football games since I was able to walk um, with my granddaddy who was just a huge supporter of everything Alabama because his experience here had been so wonderful. He loved football and since the day my youngest was born, Mac Hereford, our fifth child, he has wanted to play football at Alabama, literally, I think, since he could walk. I'd wear Alabama outfits or costumes all the time, and I told my friends I was gonna play there, and people would kind of laugh, and some, some of my family members would be like, you're not big enough, or, you know, my parents always supported me, and my grandparents always said I could do it for sure. Ever since he was a little boy, he's had his heart set on playing for Alabama. And none of us could have thought he would ever be big enough to, but gosh, he's grown so much, <laughs> we, we can't believe it. And it's worked out here at Alabama, has been wonderful. When I got the opportunity, I, you know, I, I tweeted it about it, and my, my parents immediately called me. And they're, and they're like, is it, is it real? Are you sure it's, you know, are you sure it's real? And they're like, can we have the coach's number to give him a call? When we found out that I was going to play for the Crimson Tide, I thought, I can't think of anything more wonderful. I mean, the second I found out I was on the team, you know, when I was assigned my number, Gammy, my grandmother had jerseys for the whole entire family right off the bat. I'm pretty sure she bought more Hereford jerseys than Hertz jerseys and all these other jerseys combined. My mom said, I think I'm going to go this weekend, and I about, you know, decided I'd roll a red carpet from Birmingham to Tuscaloosa just to get her here. Ooh, that was so exciting. That was like the dream of a lifetime to get to go out there with my grandson and be rolled out on that field was just a real blessing and a special day for all of us. It was just wonderful. It was so awesome to see her get to watch him run out of the tunnel and to have Mac roll her out onto the field afterward and get to just be there in that moment. My grandmother just loves this place and so does my grandfather, but she makes it known and everybody knows her as that Alabama grandmother and my grandfather's Alabama grandfather. Mm, yes, that you're in this uh, very special place being at Alabama. You uh, have the tradition behind you, the legends behind you that are wonderful and have been here before, and it's just something that's special that you'll feel in your heart the rest of your life. It's easy to see how they decided to come here. Everyone here has just exceeded my expectations and lives by you know, a different lifestyle um, and a higher standard than any place I've ever been in. And so seeing all that and knowing how much my family put into here, it, the, this weekend is, is awesome. It's, it's a really big deal for me. I just hope that they love it and hope that they find their place. My daughter in fashion design, my son who is a fellow and a capstone man, and then a son on the football team, everybody found their own place. And I hope that future generations of Herefords can find their own place here and make their name, whatever it is, and be happy with what they want to pursue. I've had siblings who haven't come here and still love this university and have grown up knowing this university and it's home to them. And so I hope that the future generations will come here and get to experience the, the special place that we've all experienced.